Today's game is coming to you live from Minneapolis, Craziana. We're at Mucus Asylum Stadium, and the inmates are taking their medication along with their seats, sharpening their knives, and hopefully not listening to the voices in their heads. Pain, suffering, humiliation, and possibly a conga line. This game's going to have it all. The Nashville Lycans battle the insane Colts. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. The panty wagons in the parking lots are full. The familiar scent of bodily fluids in the air, and the men's room is both flooding and on fire. And that means NFL game day is on the air. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzer along with Bricks and Bricks Jr. Man, last week some mutant let out a lava blast in one of the stalls in the men's room. Place went up like an oil rig. Flames and explosions, water shooting out of where the toilets were. <laughs> I electrocuted myself using the electric hand dryer. I wish they had paper towels at least as an option. Great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. I'm pretty sure my baby sister can throw further than that, but she doesn't have to play against goddamn monsters. Second and eight to go. Reception. What's that, Grim? Oh, oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. That was probably all the diarrhea. Well, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Huh. Sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but yeah, not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? I don't really know right now. What day is it? And that'll bring up second and one. <laughs> Boom! Dead and down! He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah. The message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, I'm going in circles. Third down and a pussy here. Oh, with the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. It's a zap attack. Oh, he was hit mid hurdle and fumbles the ball. Second down and six. And that pass is good for about five yards. Third and two. And the MFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Well. And it's first and ten. Second down and two. The quarterback has had enough and calls a murder ball dirty trick to lay. And he snags it for six. Touchdown! Touchdown!
Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just guineas. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. He's not going down. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. The burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. And it's first and ten. Blow up the defense today. <laughs> he was right. Kapow! <laughs> Second down and ten. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. You just, he's sick when he should have zagged and ends up a shish kebab. And he runs out of gas and got tackled short of a... Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. And it's first and ten. <laughs> with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? No, yeah, still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, that didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. And it's first and ten. the way to get the sticks moving he picks up five yards on that play second down and five As they say at the deli, who's next? Oh, uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? Second down and six. And the QB might as well just bury himself now because this guy's full. And that was a perfect pass, and he scores handily. <laughs> Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And it's first and ten. It and picks up seven yards right there.
Second and three. Third down and five. Gets the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. And it's first and ten. Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, 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 I got bingo, Grim. With the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwong Galaxy phone. And it's first and ten. Oh, look at this guy break tackle. And like bricks his bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. When skeletons make it to the end zone in one piece, that's always cause for celebration. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. And this game is up for grabs. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. Boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger, because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message, because the messenger killed him. Ah, going in circles. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You now, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. And it's first and ten. <laughs> is getting kills. Uh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. Oh, and they got him. That's a touchdown saving tackle. And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. At this point, with multiple interceptions, the QB should just throw in the towel. Scrambler. Boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? And he rumbles for nine on that play. And that'll bring up second and one. And another interception. This quarterback is going to listen to Joy Division and weep to... Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object.
And it's first and ten. He took a beast boost and jump. That's a four yard gain. Second down and six. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. Oh, man, he just got skewered by those spikes. That was bloody and disgusting. Hey, anyone in the mood for a steak kebab? Make mine rare. The offense has no running backs left, so this becomes a passing-only offense. Uh, they can still run it with their QB, right, Grim? Sure, they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. Hey, watch it! And it's first and ten. First and ten. A good run for five yards. Hey, didn't move the change of score, did it? How good can it be? Second down and five. And Chainsaw's really have a way of extending the red zone on the count of all that. <laughs> Junior. And it's first and ten. First down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take. The ref goes a penalty. You know, the MFL has eliminated almost every penalty in the rule book, and yet it still feels like there's way too many penalties. Stupid jerks. Yo, guys, suck. First down and one. Second and three. And that's the way you play a guy. Nice coverage. Third down and three. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is lukewarm. And it's oh, with a brutal hit. And it's first and ten. And that's perfect coverage. Nice deflection.
Second down and ten. A brutal hit on collision. Not only does he drop the ball, but someone's going to be taking a long nap after that hit. Third down and ten. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross pitching, unbelievable. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. Pow! With the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. Bricks, it's the two-minute warning. You know what that means? Whiskey? Second down in a very lot. You can't keep a good mutant down. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. The ref that just called that penalty, he was convicted of marrying old ladies and stealing their savings. That sounds like a good job. He's right at home here, taking money from coaches, players, and fans. I even saw him swiping money from the bathroom attendant. Hey, who don't do that? And it's first and ten. Passes it for maybe a yard. They've got to open up the offense here, Bricks. And they take their first time out. Well, how predictable. Surprise us next time. Call the timeout during halftime. Second down and nine. That's a catch for a four-yard game. Well, that's two timeouts burned, and you have to wonder, Bricks, are they desperate or are they in control? Well, I'm speaking from experience, Grim, but it really is hard to do both at the same time, and I have mastered it. At this rate, the QB's going to have more interceptions than completion. Oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. <laughs> First and ten. Air ball! Hey, did we start running ghosts into the NFL rim? No, that was just a shitty pass to absolutely no one. Second down and ten. that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. The offense calls a timeout. This is why you save your timeouts. You can use them in the two-minute warning. Now I get it. Makes sense, Grim. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, same as Brits' ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah. Does the QB know which team he's on? Oh, man, Bricks, you've got to love a player who goes down fighting. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. And with another pick, the QB says, Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice grin. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> and it's first and ten. The 
quarterback burns his last time out. He can't stop the clock anymore. Second down in a lot. He just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? The offense is down to their last running back. No rest for the weary. The last runner has to suck it up and hopefully not die. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. It's a tie game at the end of quarter two. The teams are deadlocked in a fierce struggle today. We'll be right back with today's halftime show brought to you by Monsatan Industries. Eat their delicious Franken food. Hey, during the half, can you pick me up a soil and beer? The teams line up for the second half kickoff deadlocked in a tie game. Bricks, there is nothing worse than a tie game. Uh, I'm going to disagree. I'm going to say entire in your face. Well, that's a good point. <laughs> Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. He refuses to go down. He's leaving a wake of this career blowing up. Okay, that guy's career just blew up. Uh, along with most of his skeleton. He was being rhetorical, you moron. You don't think I don't know what rhetorical is, huh? Well, I don't. Someone please tell me. And it's first and ten. fast hammer sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow speaking of oh, come on that was a cheap shot <laughs> that's why i love this guy and so are the fans first down and nine Second down and long. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. lost another line basher on that play and only two remain on their roster their defense is getting very close to forfeiting this game the offense lost their final running back lucky for them they're on defense now they're lucky to have survived so much bad luck carnage and death grim and it's first and ten <laughs> Second down and a lot. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. And if you don't understand why refs are hated even more than kickers, <laughs> well, there's your answer, Bricks. <laughs> Second down and a muffin says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. <laughs> 
Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. A defense called a one speed dirty trick. Man. And that's a run for no gain. Then it's not really a run, is it? Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. And like a monkey trying to fuck a grease football, he gets away in a hurry, and he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Uh, I don't think you can see that, Grim. <laughs> And it's first and ten. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when it... It looks like we've got a penalty here. The defense is down to their surviving defensive back. When he dies, they lose the game by forfeit. And it's first and ten. The receiver runs away from the pass marker? That's a good clue that something's not right. Second down and ten. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. Third down and a sliver. Ah, another interception. Easy, give this guy a bigger paycheck than everybody else combined. You think so? Boom to the moon. Another loser bites the dust. Winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. Ah, that's a good point, Grim. This is down to their last line basher. He's going to have to suck it up and not die out there. They can bribe the refs in this game. Why not bribe the And it's first and ten. And the defense can oh with the punishing hit. <laughs> and it's first and ten. And he finds open space is running toward the end zone. Turn on your jets, you son of a bitch. He's at the 10. It's a touchdown. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It's good. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. And it's first and ten.
Second down and more than the QB would like. And there's a huge gain, and this offense is rolling. Mom, that was a pass play. Rolling plays are in bowling. Third and two. are lined up for the kickoff. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. And it's first and ten. and stumbling he could go all the way and it's first and ten the extra point attempt. The kick is good. And as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. First and ten. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon Raby blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. First and ten. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. Should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What? And kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sitters then. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a frog in my bed. It was a chimp wearing a wig. is getting kills. Uh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. The burn returns. 
Turner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. We're tied up at the end of the third quarter. You can smell the excitement on the fans. I mean, literally, it is ripe in here. Man. Junior, was that you? Hey, throw me. He is fighting for every yard. He scores! If you think his dancing is bad, you should have been here in the old days. He used to mark their territory the old-fashioned way. But they agreed to dial it down to uh, interpretive dance. I took an interpretive dance class with a werewolf on screen. He damn near clawed my face off. That was before the class even started. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It's good. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! And it's first and ten. Does the QB know which? And that mutant just about met his maker on that hit. I thought he was made in China. I don't see any Chinese guys down there. You're a fucking moron. And it's first and ten. And another interception. This you ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. And it's first and ten. He broke free and has open field in front of him. He's at the ten. It's a touchdown! You know, letting these dogs into the league is a slippery slope, Grim. First them, then vampires, then mermaids, then before you know it, we're letting in cat girls. You know, things really start to get weird at that point. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim! It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. They need a good return here to set up the offense. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It, it means he can return it for it. You know what? Never mind. And it's first and ten. A pickup of about three on that play. Second down and seven. Third down and long. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. He is running like an old guy looking for a bathroom. First down. And it's first and ten. One potato, two potato, three potato, four. The defense just blew up a player who thought he was going to score. <laughs> oh, that hot potato dirty trick gets him every time. 
And it's first and ten. And he just nailed him right on the numbers for a touchdown. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. They're going to be able to return this one. Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite it. And it's first and ten. Huh? 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 